Emerson Ford will be talking to us shortly after 12.30. He's still at the London Film Festival, but I've managed to actually get him to do the honours about this week's film releases. So we'll be catching up with Emerson a little bit later on. But right now in the studio, we have contemporary artist Sylvia Kropinska in the studio to talk to us about her Artist of the Month. How are you, Sylvia? Hello, very well, thank you. Now let's remind the listeners who you are, because not long ago, maybe about a few months ago, you were actually on this very show where I, when I was profiling you. Yes, that's as, right. As an artist in your own right, because you are using organic music material just remind the listeners about you know your background yes uh, thank you I my work I'm a sculptor and a painter my work is based on the nature and textures of nature and I try to um, express these using different recycling materials uh, and also anything I find in nature to um, combining them and kind of recreating that that feel that I often find in nature and I find satisfying. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> and I've seen some of your work. You've used tennis balls, you've used hair, you've used even your own skin as well. Yes. <laughs> and when we talk about her own skin, it's not as if, like, you know, she cut off her arm or anything. <laughs> but um, it was the sun, sunburn. It and was, the, yeah, yes. A horrific, horrific uh, sunburn in summer. <laughs> and uh, as, um, well... If I have to go into the whole process, you know, some people might find it quite funny. So, <laughs> so as I pulled it off my, my leg, the peeling skin, mm -hmm. I thought instantly, oh my God, the wings. And that's how it started. The skinny fly started. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the drawing based on, on the whole experience. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a story attached. And yes, but it's a slightly sideways to my organic uh, sculpture. Yes. I'm kind of gripping hold of that. And I'm now working on that. Um, Golf ball sculpture. So. Golf balls? Yes. Okay, I look forward to seeing that. How long will that take? Uh, we'll see. I'm back to my studio next week, so I've been busy with uh, other things. Uh, okay. But, yeah, we'll okay. see how long that takes. Uh, you know, I just want to just clarify about the, you know, the, the, the skinny fly. We actually saw the, the, the work itself, and um, the wings of the skinny fly were actually... Sylvia's <laughs> peel from her son. That's birth. right, yes. And, then, and so obviously, well, like she said, when she saw the actual peel, in her mind's eye, she could see the wings for that particular fly. Instantly. So, yeah, instantly. <laughs> amazing, amazing. <laughs> so now you're going to be coming on the show, is it once a month? We're going to have you on Yes. Now? And you're going to be introducing us to artists who you've actually met along the way so that you can come along and talk to us about why you've chosen this artist as your artist of the month, why you're profiling the particular artist. Yeah? Yes, yes. So um, today's artist or this month's artist is who, please? This month's uh, artist is called uh, Johnny Briggs. Mm -hmm. He is a young, aspiring artist and photographer. Uh, and I saw his studio yesterday and we spent a wonderful couple of hours mm. <laughs> talking and he showed me his studio, his terrors. I've got wonderful shots, uh, but more, more so we talked about his work in detail and I've got so much to share about him today. Wonderful. With you. And how long has he been in... T so is it photography? That's the art. His, his, main, his main sort of medium is photography. However, he combines the painting, sculpture, media. He... Often people mis, mis, kind of mis, mistaken uh, his work for paintings because they are so versatile and uh, wow. rich. Wow. Okay. <laughs> and so why Johnny Briggs? Why are you profiling him this month? Because uh, I went to see a show, uh, New Sensations, Sarchi's and Chance Four competition, and he became he was the winner of the show, and I was incredibly impressed with the standard of the work on the show there. But he his his take and his approach to uh, the work he produces and his um, kind of background and what he's searching for I, I, I really admire and I think he's going to go far with it and mm. I think it's very important to introduce him to the listeners so we all learn Wonderful, <laughs> and how many people actually entered that competition? It was hundreds, but there, there, only can, there were 20 shortlisted artists and uh, within those there were four finalists uh, in the show and he, uh, Johnny was one of them. Wow. So prior to the competition, was Johnny known at all in the circuit? He was indeed, yes. He was, he was kind of, you know, doing his own thing and mm -hmm. exhibiting along the way. He had previously exhibited in the New Sensations too in 2008, if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. um, but now, now I really feel his career has just taken up, of and course. yes, and he's doing so well. He's got many exciting shows planned too. But uh, 
um, perhaps they can, t t you know. Oh, yes, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And um, what I want to know, first and foremost, I mean, I'm sure as you spent quite a few um, hours and time with him, um, what, what did he talk about, about his inspiration for actually moving into this field of, you know, the art that he does? He was very much influenced his foundation course. Uh, he took that he, at Chelsea School of Art. And there he uh, had a chance to explore all the different mediums, but he's, he was partic particularly interested in media studies. Uh, already there, he kind of focused on photography. And uh, um, as he, he, his mind is very creative, as I just discovered yesterday. Mm. Um, and I, I, I kind of believe to say it's also theatrical with the setups he comes up. Uh, one has to be. Mm. Uh, he is on a search of his kind of inner child the 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 the, the ones that before we are influenced with other people before we we pick up the habits and thinking processes and the way we're so, supposed to think from our parents friends surroundings he's trying to step back to that point and kind of relive it like relive that experience if possible mm, okay if you just tuned in welcome along you're hearing the voice of Contemporary artist Sylvia Krupinska, who is in the house to talk about her artist of the month, Johnny Briggs. We'll talk. Black Street singing about joy right here on Colourful. 21 minutes past 12. Colourful Life with me, Rosemary Laye. Sylvia Krupinska is still in the house talking about her artist of the month, who is Johnny Briggs who has recently crowned the New Sensations 2011. Now, for those of us who don't know what New Sensations is, you know, what is it all about, this competition? Yes, the, the whole competition, New Sensations 2011, is organised by the Saatchi Gallery and Channel 4, who do all the publicising for it. It is for the top graduates uh, that graduate that year from BA or MA art schools in the whole uh, UK mm. and basically is the top of the talent that comes to this exhibition and they are given after shortlisted opportunity to realize the, the, the potential of their work by giving a thousand pounds each to, mm -hmm. to actually make the work in the gallery that's right. what happened with with all of them there okay so are they automatically entered in the competition because they are the top or do they themselves they themselves have, have to... to have to enter yes it's right. all on that basis okay so if they're not one of the top 10 or what have you or you know so does that mean that they can't enter Everybody can enter. All the graduates in the UK, uh, after finishing their MA, BA courses, are, 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 you know, can enter the competition next year. OK, so out of all the hundreds who entered, Johnny Briggs has been crowned the New Sensations 2011. That's a lovely title, isn't it? New yes. Sensations. <laughs> so, I mean, you mentioned photography and the diversity of his work. But I'm trying to visualise what, what is, I suppose, um, the, the, the trademark of a Johnny Briggs, you know, work, if you like. Yes, the, as I had you know, chance to witness in his studio yesterday, I'd like to t talk about one of his works because that way I can explain pretty mm. well what the work is about. Is um, In his corner of his studio, there was uh, a wall and the kind of floor painted black, which was trying, Johnny was trying to recreate the sitting room of his house at home. However, everything was painted black, including a side table, flowers, um, the wallpaper, textured wallpaper floor um, and in that setup he asked his mother to pose in the picture crouching down with again wearing everything in black painted black wearing on her head a mask apart from one opening on her, on her face which was her eye mm -hmm. there was the only thing that was standing out in, that was no normality, that was normal in the, the, in the image. Everything else was black. It looked very, very theatrical, almost surreal, if you looked at it. And me being there yesterday, I felt like if I enter, I'm going to become black. <laughs> of course, of course. So, so what, is he saying that that's how his home was when he was younger? Or this is, the, or is, this is his perception of his life? What, what's, what's he saying? Um, I wouldn't read it too much into the black colour. However, he talks about often in his work the family, his love for his family, his mum and dad, uh, often also trying to kind of, because he, he mentioned to me he didn't have a particularly um, uh, good uh, relationship with his dad when he was younger, but now it's all come to good terms and they're really enjoying themselves and uh, his dad poses for him in his photographs too. Mm -hmm. uh, his sisters too, he's got four sisters. Mm -hmm. So um, I think to sum up, his work is 
a lot about his family and love for them and his own inner child and search for it and how to present it and also kind of invite us to look at ourselves and how how we see ourselves when we're little and what changed mm. in us. You know, it's interesting because for the novice like myself and some of our listeners who obviously are not artists, you know, when I think of a very dark colour like that, because I've seen the image, you know, you're saying the wall's been painted black, the floor's been painted black, everything's black. Then you think, is this person all right? Is, is he quite depressed? Because yes. there's no colour injected in, yes. into the colour, you know. Yes, I, yes, I understand why you would say that. Uh, that the black, it was very glossy. It was picking up all these, all these kind of sparks of light around it. Mm. Uh, it's not on this image I have in front of me. It's mm. not actually showing, but in the, the, the photograph that was uh, featured in the New Sensations exhibition, it was it was standing out like all the colors combined in that black uh, it's really difficult to describe it but mm. it was so rich and alive wow and this is the very image that won him yes one of one of the two yes right okay and what was the other image the uh, just just to say the image that we were just discussing was titled portal mm -hmm. the eye was the portal right. to to his mum's kind of thinking perhaps yes. or or we can we are transported into uh, where he wants to send us yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other image and the other one was I don't have it here with me but it was very very kind of again uh, sitting room set up mm. and across the front of the uh, photograph was a huge blue circle mm. and there was in a corner of it not very much showing but yes there she was it was his mum again uh -huh. so it was very bold uh, strong image mm -hmm. uh, and on the side of it featured there was a chair little baby chair he made mm -hmm. bending the seat awkwardly so no one could sit on it mm. it, it just had a little twist to it that you made made you think what is this mm. is this surreal is this fairy tale mm. i'm thinking oh his poor mum has to stand up she can't sit down <laughs> <laughs> So that's the other image that he, he yes actually yes it was it was photo montage of 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 kind of the the setup yes. yeah wow well, it's a real family affair isn't it yes absolutely it's fantastic John still he mentioned lives now he went back to live to his uh, um, sort of family house yes. in uh, in Walkingham in Berkshire mm -hmm. where he's surrounded by the trees and meadows and animals it just sounded like a dream oh, to me absolutely. when he was describing it um, quite fascinating yeah a great place to actually get all your creative juices working. yes <laughs> so where can our listeners find out more about Johnny Briggs the artist yes Johnny's got a very good website uh, the address is www Johnny Briggs which is j-o-n-n-y-b-r-i-g-g S dot com, but I've I've written uh, quite a, in a detail article about our interview yesterday on mm. my blog. Good. Uh, so the listeners can go back to it, check all the images with um, uh, the videos I've made. Mm -hmm. So if you are interested and would like to see more of Johnny's work, go to my blog, which is Sylvia Krupinska dot WordPress dot com. Mm -hmm. Should we teach them or tell them how to spell <laughs> yes. Krupinska? Yes, uh, I think the first time we <laughs> okay, get ready. S I L V I A K R U P I N S K A. Krupinska. There you go, Sylvia Krus <laughs> Krupinska. Mm -hmm. I have a Polish name, but I am Slovakian. <laughs> <laughs> she always gets that in somehow. And what do you have here? I have a signed, Johnny Briggs signed catalogue from New Sensations and a canvas bag for, uh, for a listener or listeners who'd like to get it. Mm -hmm. um, I have on my Twitter and on my Facebook, Sylvia Krupinska Organic Contemporary Sculpture Facebook account, I've, I've put a question on uh, with an image. It's a... Um, it's a cutout of something. It's, it's looking awkward. It's basically, it's, I don't want to give away the answer now, Rosemary, <laughs> but go to, to my blog, go to Twitter and Facebook and check out the question. The question is, what is it? Where does it come from? Okay. If you get the answer right, um, 
and email me. I'll send you the catalogue okay. and the bag. And the bag. So the signed catalogue is a catalogue of his work, is it? Catalogue of the New Sensations exhibition, okay. 2011. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so go on to Sylvia's blog and go to see her Twitter postings as well, and even Facebook postings. Yes. And um, answer that question correctly, and Sylvia will send you the catalogue and the bag. So Johnny Briggs, we hail you, Johnny Briggs, the <laughs> artist of the month. Congratulations Sylvia, to congratulations, you. Congratulations, <laughs> absolutely. Sylvia, thank you.